peeling her skin off with my bare hands, man. You should come next time. Yeah, I have. Uh, Matt, are we fly? Yeah. Are we fly? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said number 25. Fly? <laughs> I said number 25. It's pretty fully 25. actual. Uh, oh, yeah. Still another 25? No, nah, still another 15, brother. Sorry. 15, another four months of this shit. We better start organizing the finale. Yeah, we've got to figure it out. Anyway, um, what have we been up to? Well, I'll tell you what we've been up to. Um, we've been filming a lot. All that bu- super busy period is now sort of just finishing, which is nice. Uh, some of you might have seen the little jackass promo that we managed to get out. <laughs> so that was a, quite a rush. New Zealand's <laughs> not happening. Yeah, Michael and Gillian are meant to be in New Zealand. <laughs> they, they can't go there. They've got called off like three days before they were due to leave. Which is devastating. <clears throat> uh, so they have to stay here now and they don't know when they're going to be able to go over. And <laughs> it's really hard to get refunds. Second time that we had to rebook it. <laughs> yeah, they've, they've been on holiday mode twice and both times it's fallen through. So it's, yeah, it's not a good feeling when you think you're going away and then you're not. I can only imagine, mate. <laughs> what happened to you with Paris? Yeah, no, I did. So fuck. Uh, Fuck. Aside from that, what did we do on the weekend? Well, we we got high with our friends and had a bit of a fun time. Yeah, we played some shit. sport. We giggled a lot. We, we played ate. some sport. Right now, there's a Ned's video out, and then Matt was in. Yeah, Ned's, Mr. We post Brown. That. We post that tomorrow, Brown. Oh wow. Yeah, you were in that. Remember? Yeah, you were the ref. In that kind. Of- how was that? Was that terrifying being in a video? Yeah, it was in a little adrenaline rush. Yeah, see, Matt's in a fucking public video. Yeah, he, yeah. Podcast, he go, you go see Matthew. I wasn't peer pressured. The boys, even right up to the last very <laughs> second, I was said, if you don't want to do it, I don't have to. Very, we didn't force him out. You're at very all. nice. Exactly. Exactly, Matthew. <laughs> um, well, this episode, man, we got a lot going on. Let me tell you two or three things that we got happening, all right? We got a little, uh, we got fucking, we got prank hall. We got questions. And yeah, man, that's, that's it. We'll it. probably finish that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This podcast is also, it, it has a few sponsors. I'm not going to lie to you, okay? I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. All right, let's do the diary entries. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Sponsors the, are Manscaped. Manscaped. And if you want to buy any male grooming products, all right, just go to manscaped.com and use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20. And you get 20% off across the board. Whatever you want to buy, 20% off. Okay? You spend $1,000, you get 200 off. That's half a bag. So you do the math. Yeah, fuck. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's not bad. Uh, they got heaps of cool shit. We use it. Um, and no complaints. Just be careful, though, because the trimmers can still nick your ball sack. It's happened to Matt. In the is our other sponsor which is our subscription website the University of Michael where we post an episode every week it's like 30 to 40 minutes long of all the behind the scenes shit and just videos that are so fucked up and gruesome that we cannot post them anywhere Michael and I are covered in blood because today we filmed a website video where we glued super glued thumbtacks to squash balls and drove them into each other using golf clubs man it's no joke it was horrifically painful it was scary shit remember Matt we didn't have any safety gear and there was blood everywhere I remember when we Kicked the soccer ball tack ball into Marty's hand. Oh, man. I thought one got stuck in me for a bit. I had a huge lump, but then it was just blood. I fucking drill one straight into his shin bone and then a huge lump. I was like, oh, you've had a bit broke off there. (laughs) There could be, I reckon, still just like the the pin bits in. Uh, And the blood blood rushing and then it just catches in and catches into an artery and then it'll work its way through your body. Yeah, and you become a pin. Like Get. we we didn't even clean the wounds. Yeah, my bloodied wounds are still all bloody. I like to just save it for the shower. What's the point of having two showers a day? Yeah, <laughs> I was just gonna clean it without a shower, like wipe it down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't do that. Okay, fuck it. Let it bake. Ah! All right, let's um get into the fucking diary entries. Um and Matt, yeah, yeah, you know, sorry, sorry that you had to go through all these things. All right, I'm starting to really see 
You found it rough, man. No, it's sexy. I thought I, I had it rough. sexy. Matt. It's like, you know, like a bad boy. That's what Matt is. He's like a sexy yeah. bad boy. Yeah, he's a naughty boy. He wears black leather jackets and listens to rock and roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should stop. <laughs> Said all of your victims. Diary entry number 132 from Michael Clory Brookhouse. Today, I pulled my foreskin back for the first time in my life. (laughs) (laughs) I found a light green paste that smelled of the dirty parts of barley. I I smeared it to the side and began digging with my pinky finger. I found an old five cent piece, a hair tie, and the fingernail of a boy I used to date. I added a few more items and pulled my foreskin back up. Now when I check again in 10 years, it will be like a time capsule. See? <laughs> How old am oh. I? Well, I don't know. Diary engine. You must have been in high school there. Okay. When did you first go to Bali? I, I ne- oh. Yesterday. It must have been Thailand. I must get it confused because I'd only been to Thailand as a child. <sighs> Unless this was a recent one. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe. It could be. Diary entry number 101 from Marty Today was my birthday Mum gave me some clean drinking water And dad kept telling me I had to earn my gift And pointing to his penis I don't have a birth certificate Because my parents lost it So no one really knows how old I am But doctors think I'm between 15 and 18 years old Uh, Also I'm slowly losing vision in my left eye It's turning a white colour Hopefully it's nothing It was a pretty good day you don't know how old you are. Well, you know the range. <laughs> Three-year range. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's good. Diary entry number 69 from Julian James. Tennyson Woods from Ashgrove. 460 till I die. <clears throat> Today, me and the boys went to the skate park on our scooters. I didn't do any tricks, but I went heaps fast around the outskirts of the skate park and all these chicks were like... Fuck, who's that cunt? He's going so fast. I did a mad skid and swear the chicks thought I was so sexy. I didn't get to fuck any, but they know me as that real fast guy on the scooter now, so I won't be long, boys. (laughs) Ha ha, you stab, grab, feel, piss, stab, up. (laughs) (laughs) Up. Like a scooter trick or some shit? Yeah, mate. Uh, maybe. (laughs) Maybe that. (laughs) Very good. (laughs) All right. Diary number 889 from Matthew Gregory Brown. It was 2 a.m. and I was tucked away in a thick hedge. (laughs) A wry smile crept onto my face as I watched a mosquito land on my forearm and begin sucking my blood. It itched, but it also excited me. (laughs) I watched as the mosquito quickly died as my blood is half semen. I was snapped back into my situation when I heard footsteps. I froze and managed to catch a glimpse of the lady I had been observing. My little brown instantly stood tall and erect. The lady, w- the lady would have to walk directly by me to get to her car, well within arm's reach, which is exactly what I wanted. She got closer and closer, and my eyelids peeled back further and further. My heart was beating so fast it was humming. Mm-hmm. Just as the lazy lady was about to walk past my part of the hedge, a possum leapt out onto the footpath. The lady saw it and froze. Anger instantly overwhelmed me. Why does this fucking possum have to arrive right at this moment. It's had all night to appear, and it chooses this moment. My moment. The possum remained where it was, chewing on some scraps. The lady then took a wide berth and walked around the possum, and well out of reach of my trap. Rage bubbled inside my head, and I could feel my body start to shake. Fucking possum. The lady safely got to her car, and my plan was ruined. I did not dare reveal myself, though, and waited for her to drive away, all the while fantasizing about destroying that little possum. As soon as the lady was out of eyeshot, my arm shot out of the edge and grabbed that fucking possum's tail. Hard. It turned immediately and bit down on my hand. I stood up out of the hedge, still squeezing that possum's tail as hard as I could. It was fighting hard for its life and scratching me deeply. I pinned it down with one hand and began raining.
spinning haymakers down on it with my other. Fast, heavy blows left the possum lifeless within seconds. I continued to punch it. I had to release my rage. After its skull was liquefied, I stopped punching and ripped it in half. Fucking possum! I left it on the footpath as a warning to any other possums in the area to stay away. Finally satisfied, I began bounding backwards down the street <laughs> and back to my lair. That's the last time a rodent comes between me and my ladies! <laughs> <laughs> Very demonic at the end. Yeah, why do you see I that? just imagine. It channeled That's just something. how it's written. You can just tell from the font he uses. Satanic symbols. Um... I really liked. You must have a high pain tolerance. If you can take a possum scratching you, would f- make me. Yeah, flinch. but you know when you're so full of rage, yeah. you don't really. Feel you don't like feel the pain. Touched. I lot. can see that true. Yeah, yeah. You don't feel any pain. So it sort of was scrunching its tail, mm. and then it was turned around and latched on, and then you pressed it down on the footpath. I imagine, and then just started like hammer fists at all. I don't know. Straights. Straights. And yeah, that would have been devastating for the possum. Anyway, funny, yeah. Funny. funny. A, that's a funny one. <laughs> so that's a pretty good one. I mean, I had a laugh when I read that out, out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I had a, quite, a, quite a deep chuckle. So no, they're, they're, it's fine. It's okay. I'm dealing with it. I used to live with possums, so I, I can tolerate them much more than you, Matt. You haven't heard the possum stories. No. One of my many garages that I used to live in growing up well not growing up that would be Marty um, this is in my 20s every night at 1am a possum would go past like sort of like the ceiling like along the ceiling there sort of a meter bo- above my head and above my bed and it would hiss at me a fucking he lived in a garage man he chose to to <laughs> save money and then possums were his roommates dude they, when they have sex, they squeal real weirdly, yeah, and it's so during the I. day. What sounds is it? <laughs> James did the noise really well the other. Yeah, you know that sound. That's possums. One night, a fucking possum because they had babies, so the possum would like take it on its back like yeah. a backpack, and one time it slipped. And the possums fell onto my bed as I was sleeping. <laughs> I fucking flipped. This is at like pitch black. This right? is like 1 a.m. Yeah, I didn't have any lights down there. And Imagine I, just feeling that uh, something landing on your bed and knowing it's possums. And I fucking just the size flipped. of a cat. I flipped the sheet up and felt it fly. <laughs> but I thought it landed back on the bed as I got up. So then I flipped the mattress. <laughs> like the, the first night this, I, I stayed in this garage. That's when we had to sort of get to know each other and I woke up to it screaming at me. And then we, we began to like develop a relationship and it would tolerate me. So he'd just start to walk past my head and we'd just stare at each other. Like as I started sleeping with the light on after that first night. <laughs> I screamed, scared the shit out of me. I thought it was the boys playing a prank I on me. I you lasted there. I would fucking... I had... I was just... I had saving I did, money. If I had to sleep with a light on though, I'd rather just like get a tent and sleep outside or something yeah well fuck it, literally the amount of spiders that were in that garage i probably should have got a tent there's possums what do they do with spiders surely they'd run into a few of them spiders probably can't bite through the fur isn't that right matt yeah well the, yeah. the thing that sucked with mine is they'd make their webs during the night time so i'd get up out of bed in the morning and walk through oh, their and fucking <laughs> web and they're huge like wolf spiders it was oh, just, man. it was a bad time. You've lived in a lot of garages, man. They I've had it right. Basement? Yeah. Like this is luxury compared to what I've had. So high five me. We're moving up in the world, everyone. <laughs> Isn't yeah, that right? Fucking, I can see why you hate possums. Sorry about that. Sorry. Well, I can see what well, it ruined your trap. What are the chances? You, what were you going to do? Like grab out and grab her ankle or something? She walked past. I just wanted to hiss at her a bit. Oh, scare her a bit. Okay. Oh, like a piggy sound. No, it's not. All right, let's move on with these questions because they're important. And remember, if you want us to answer your question, 
comment it on our Marty and Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel. And the questions with the most likes are the ones that get answered. Okay, so go have a scroll through, like the ones that you want us to answer, and we will try and answer the most likes, all right? And remember, if you can't afford to go to Manscaped or to fucking subscribe to our subscription website, please, the least... All we ask is that you like and leave a comment. If you can't think of a comment, just comment, comment, or the best. Okay? A pro or con. We just want, as long as the podcast still is growing, then we're happy. All right? Even though it's a very slow grind at the moment because none of our videos ever get recommended to anyone on YouTube because they are all demonetized. It is literally all word of mouth and fucking... Like it is, it is a fucking grind, but we're Holy fucking shit. getting there, cunt. Maybe we should just be nicer. Yeah, maybe we should do an episode where we try and get. We should do an episode trying to get an episode monetized. Be no swearing. It would be a tough challenge, and I think we could all do it. Wouldn't that be a fun oh, challenge? Fuck to off! <laughs> <laughs> it's like swearing this cunt from play school. Fucking <laughs> <Just laughs> <laughs> some over happy, enthusiastic teacher. Yeah, you know they. I fucking, hated that. They man. all got fucking they all done get... for drugs. All those play school actors. They literally got all got done Dude, for COVID. I went and saw Monica live. She's one of the famous ones. I had a big crush on her. I was four years old. So, wow, you had crushes at four years old? I think so. Did you want to crush her back? Didn't know about that, but I just, you sort, just sort of maybe like that, that motherly love. I wanted her to look after me. But you knew that you needed to do something to it. Well, now in hindsight, as getting older, I, I remember that Monica was hot. I did remember having a memory of like four or five, like rolling around under a bed with a girl when we were having like a play date and thinking like, oh, I kind of like her. Yeah, just let your instincts but, take but over. I had no idea. Yeah, it's what weird because when you're do. in primary school, you like it different to the boys. You are fully into like you've got this little crush on girls. Like remember kiss and catch and shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, you'd catch always pretend you didn't like playing it, but deep down you're like, I have to play this. Yeah, I really want to kiss. Or like when you you go to like parties, like at, uh, girls' houses, and you play spin the bottle, and this is like year five, year six. But you got to act like you're not into it or you're not into anyone because you don't want them to know that you like them. Anyway, this is just past stories of me. If you want to get really fucked up, this is like year one or year two. I remember we had like, a, a, I think we said this on the podcast, but we had like a group and we had a cubby house because we lived in a national park and we had all this bushland. And the cubby house had this this punishment. If you did wrong by the, the, the gang, then you get your hands pulled behind the behind the tree and you you get dacked so you got your dick exposed and then the only girl in the group would punch your dick like she would just stand there and punch your dick what where did you grow up depends on how what you did wrong i think like me and this kid stole like money because we had this little tin for our gang it was like where we kept our money play some weird games anyway yeah fucking weird and so depending on the punishment you'd get certain amount of punches but I would get in trouble on You'd purpose. You'd be a bad boy. I'd be a bad boy because then I could get punched in How the How old was this girl? She would have been year one. Oh, I was year one. She would have been year kindergarten. So, you're so, attempting to get a hand job from a girl in kindergarten is what you're But I was everyone. a kid too, so it was okay. Uh, and it's not really it a hand job. It's like it Ma- hurts. It, that's, if you punch enough, you'd probably come. So, you- That's true. Yeah. Do you think about that still when you wank? No, no, no. But it has come like, fuck, is that why? Like, why the fuck did that happen as a kid? Like, that's strange. It's not normal to get punched in the dick by someone. Yeah, you you got punched in the dick by a kindergartner. It's such a weird thing to happen, put right? That, is put that, that on Tinder. Put that on your Tinder profile. Yeah. I got punched. Holy shit, I can say I've been punched in the dick by a kindergarten. No. Probably tell them when it happened to. No, 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 no. Details, shmeetails, I always say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that right. stare. Anyway, fun fucking childhood stories. First question is from uh, Ronak. Oh, Ronak. No. Ronak. Oh, Ronak. Ronak. Here we go. Um, do you guys plan on uh, making a dedicated uh, studio or place to create the podcast in the future? Yeah, fuck no, if we do. God, I'd love to have a big old place just for the podcast with air conditioning, like a nice table. Some lights that work. A couple of different camera angles. A mm. toilet that's not covered in shit. Yeah. Oh. I just set up the uh, golf in the toilet today, thanks to Nikki. 
Oh, yeah, she yeah, sent that. There's toilet golf now, so things are improving. <laughs> mm, little joke. <laughs> <laughs> what are you fucking doing, Matt? What the? Matt, I looked over and Matt's doing this. <sighs> that. What are you blowing the air down? What the fuck are you doing, Matt? <laughs> there was a little bug there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I do that too. No, I get that. I didn't want to kill him. Speaking of fucking bugs, man, we've been fucking. Yeah. <clears throat> I've been fucking this cunt up with. I see it, Matt. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> the blow works. <laughs> We've been fucking yeah, fuck, man. It's been a bug <laughs> war. There are probably so many bugs in here, eh? Oh, I hear them. <clears throat> Next question is from James Kirkpatrick. Um, <clears throat> what's the plan for the day you guys reach a million subscribers? What on YouTube? On YouTube for the it's just another day, another dollar for the podcast. Yeah. We'll probably have a um, have a guest on or something. We might have um, Lindsay Lohan come on. Oh, that'd be good. We could have Daniel um, Radcliffe. More Radcliffe on the table. Have him lie down like Dan and Lindsay can stand over him and wrap him in paper if we hit a mill. <laughs> so if we hit a mill, we'll get Lindsay Lohan on and we'll get her to wrap Daniel Radcliffe in paper on the table. And that is a promise from us to you. We promise you, I swear to God, I swear on Michael's life, we'll make that happen if we get to a million, okay? I'll start messaging Lindsay tonight. I There's think no Lindsay would be the issue would be Radcliffe. Yeah. Radcliffe will do as he's fucking told. <laughs> Radcliffe, if you're watching this, fuck you, you fucking little pig. I'm coming to see you soon. <laughs> 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 that makes sense. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from Rootin' Tootin' Putin. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It's great um, to see. <laughs> yeah, that Putin follows. Um, was there a stunt that you both did thinking it would be about a five on the pain scale, but it ended up being about a 10 on the pain scale? Yeah, I think we mentioned it. The um, magnifying glass tattoo video attempt. Oh, that was, hurt. Oh, man. It was like- You can't do it. Unbearable. I, I think we got a thing with getting burnt too. We don't like getting burnt. Yeah, fire electricity sucks. So, um, yeah, that was exceptionally and stupidly painful. What else has been really painful that we didn't think was going to be? Um, fucking um, ooh, oranges. I, oranges are like if someone oh. pegs an orange at you hard. You're like, in trouble. Yeah, it fucking hurts. While we're on this, James Kirkpatrick also asked, um, uh, what's worse, getting hit with a squash ball, a paintball, or a golf ball? Depends what, what is what it, like. If a squ I'd prefer a paintball over a squash ball from someone hitting with a tennis racket three meters away. What was the third option? Uh, golf ball, ball, paintball, squash ball. Golf, golf ball mm. probably. If it's full swing, you're in trouble. Yeah, and but if you're facing your back to them and you can try and protect your spine and head, golf is. Oh man, oh, golf is just very uh, risky. Go golf is the most dangerous. Squash probably hurts just as much as golf. And then paintball is behind. Golf is, is not the most painful, but it is the most dangerous because something can go wrong there, man. You could chip a piece of your pelvic bone off. There well, was one time you hit my Achilles tendon with a golf ball. I remember. And the shock went all the way up my oh. body. Oh. oh, no. What? Is it dead? Oh, fuck. We'll just have to pipe it up, can't we? <laughs> fuck. Um, yeah, so yeah, <laughs> um, just fuck that question. Next one, Michael. Sad. No, let's leave that as a good question. Leave that in. What were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> on with the show, gentlemen. <coughs> oh, <yeah. coughs> Next question is oh. from Luke Kearns. Um, will there ever be a diary entry from Jackson O'Doherty? I don't know. I don't think Jackson's <laughs> the one to keep diary, dude. I thought about this the other night. We could do. For so many people. Like, it doesn't have to be Jackson. Imagine, like, doing Jaden's, Shami's, like, heaps of the boys. Imagine Lockie's. Yeah, Lockie's would be very good diary entries. Oh, yeah. Anyway, it's got full potential. So, we'll have to try and expand eventually. Um, we, were, we were just talking um, in that bit that got cut that we should, <coughs> we should get our dads on. Man, I don't think my dad would come on. And we should get them to have like an arm wrestle or something. And then we can say, my dad's stronger than you. I reckon my dad would win an arm wrestle. 
Matt, what do you to say about that? It's a bit disrespectful of a brown family net. You're saying your dad's strong? What? You got do you strong dad. Your dad would be your, my dad. Oh, not. don't play that game. Dad, I reckon my dad. Could, like a movie I reckon my dad would your, win in a fight out of your. Your dad. dad's one of the toughest dads I've ever seen. And the tough dads. Your dad's tough, man. His dad's tough too, though, man. If they fought, it'd be a tough dad fight. Who do you man. reckon would win? Who do you reckon would win out of our dad? Man, I haven't seen your dad fight, man. I've seen his dad fight. I've seen know. his dad fight hard, man. His dad fought other dads. Your before. dad's probably trained, though. Oh yeah, and he's got guns. His dad has guns, he's man. He's not got guns, but yeah. And he, it's a fight, not a gun fight. <laughs> but my dad won't like. He'll go. Yeah, he'll your go dad will go. Your dad will go street fighter, man. Your dad will go street fighter, man. He's got ex, he's got edge, cunt. No rules, Matt Brown, dad. Mister Brown fucks up, cunt. <laughs> he's got weapons. He's got shillings. <laughs> he's got a shilling bomb. <laughs> and the shillings got bang, and his dad be dead in seconds, man. His dad. <laughs> We've got to get this on. We've got to get the dad fight on, man. <laughs> well, yeah, they wouldn't do it, I don't think. Fucking shilling, shilling bomb Just in theory, home. my dad, I reckon, would win. Yeah, yeah, I think he's what about, just a bigger build. I, my dad would beat your dad, too. Yeah, probably. So my dad wins. Next question is from We Tam. What about mums? We Tam? We Tam. Like we Tim Tam. Tam. We Tam. Mm. We Tam. Um, Marty, would you ever get a tattoo of Bosley? Yes. Yes, I would. I would get his face detailed, <laughs> detailed as fuck, and I would get him from the future. So I'd get Bosley if he was 250 years old, and I'd get that piece straight in the middle of my back. Like Dude, that. that you get it over your face. Yeah, imagine Bosley's face on mine. Dude. And his, what? his tongue going into my mouth. Let's get some Bosley tattoos. I would love to have him on me. Yeah. It has. He needs to be immortalized. Yeah. In it, he needs to be immortalized. In it, <laughs> straight up. It's fucking banter. It's just a bit of banter, mate. <laughs> it's banter, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it's, it? it's just fucking banter. That's literally all I know how to say. It's just fucking joking. Fuck it. Let's get fucking mortal. <laughs> Let's get fucking mortal. <laughs> mortal. Oh fuck! Okay, I'm high now. Here yeah, we go. dude, I forgot what we we're doing. Eh? <laughs> okay, yeah. Next question. Um, next question is from, from Daniel, Daniel Kalad. Kalad. Kalad? Kalad. It's Kalali. Kalali. Oh, the sorry, the e at the end is silent. Marty, what is the full technique to do one of your squirties? As I would like to do it at my next family event. You put your hands as close to the hole as you dare, and then you pull the cheeks apart. But do not let your asshole go loose. Your asshole remains taut the whole time. So not at one stage, when I begin opening my cheeks, my asshole stays tight and taut, okay? <laughs> if you relax at any stage during the opening, the air will escape and you will have no sound. Do you want that? Do you want no sound? No. Then strengthen and tighten that asshole as hard as you can, okay? Doesn't Once it hurt stretching it oh while yeah. you're tightening? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It hurts. The whole fucking thing <laughs> hurts like hell, cunt. Physically and emotionally. As soon as you pull your cheeks as far apart as you can, then you start squeezing like you're shitting. <laughs> you squeeze like you're shitting, and then when you get the end of it, when you start hearing the sound, that's when you pull back instantly so you can lengthen the fart out as long as you can. <laughs> if you let that sound, that initial sound, just fucking fly out, your fart will be over in three seconds and you will left. You will turn and you know, your friends will have a look of disappointment on their face. Yeah, They I, will I, scar you. I fucking put him down a bit when they're not long enough, oh. I must say. I have had practices on the couch at night, okay? So I've realized if you get a bit of leverage by using the couch or the ground to sort of, I don't know, cover half of your asshole, yeah, yeah. it makes a weirder, longer sound. Anyway. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, I can see that working. Your, but I got nothing better to do. Your, your technique at the end is what you do when you start to hear it finish. You yeah, push so you, hard. That's when you go the hardest. You when go rapid fire. When like, it's the hardest, when you're in so much pain, you've been holding your breath, you've been straining as hard as you can, you need to take air in, that's when you give it 110%. And then you push twice as hard as you've ever pushed and you let everything relax. <laughs> Man, <laughs> you get the weirdest sounds at the end of them. 
<laughs> he has created the most incredible shit at the end of them is what gets me. Sometimes they can be really short, but if he puts a peculiar ending in, something I haven't heard before or just a really high pitch or weird rhythm of sounds, it gets me on my knees. The ending is what gets them to stay. <laughs> it's true, dude. It is so true. But I realized that you have to go hard at the end of it because I've started doing it on the couch. Yeah, if you finish on the same monotone level, people will leave, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, yeah. Yeah. It's no longer art then. It's just fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You've got to make it long enough for it to be good. It's art. Fart art is fart. It's good very, question. Yeah. Very, very important. Very anyway, yeah, it's very important. Fart. Next question is from Peter Hunt. <laughs> Hunt? I wonder if he has any relation to our segment. Could be. Oh. Question for the podcast. Are there any training tips for bounding backwards? Man? I can, I can see it in my head, but I don't know how I would go about doing it. Uh, this is where I learned how to bound backwards, okay? <laughs> I was watching the movie The Mask. And there's a scene where he comes out first, first time he gets a mask on, he gets shot at and he bounds backwards out the window of his apartment. Being, That's where you bouncing? It? Yeah. He bounds. Okay, bounce. Oh, wow. You've got to bounce. Holy to bounce. shit. I thought that was like That's movie true. trickery. That's I never true. thought that that was actually, you could learn from that. Wow. And so once I saw that, I started practicing it in my hallway at home. I can picture that. Yeah. Fuck. And now he knows, now he's faster than running forwards, right? It's more explosive. It just depends. It depends on the weather. You can get up to 60 kilometers an hour, man. That's like, you know, you, you can go on the highway backwards if you wanted to. Yeah. That, that's and just put, have some blinkers in your hands to know, like, oh, you know, you're a. And you'd be able to see when cars are going to come near you because you'll be facing them. Yeah. So you're safe. And you, you know, your instincts guide you forwards. I don't get it, man. <laughs> Next question is from Haddon Marty. Have you ever oh. have you thought about starting a fart bottle? Yeah, it's like, it's hard oh, to... <clears throat> I would love this. We should buy... I'm going to buy a bunch of jars, like glass ones. So, it looks like this shit from the BFG. And we're going to start farting them. Yeah. Oh, like, and then selling them on podcast. our website. And then we sell our farts. We, yeah. I don't think people will really buy them. But Five bucks? Five bucks a fart. That's not bad. Oh, yeah, I don't think people will buy them. But I would just like to save like I'll our farts. Just to see if it so, smells. then we bring them out the following week. And we see if it still smells like fart. Yeah, look, you'd have to keep a jar with you at all times. It's no, in, we'll it's have impractical. jars set up here. So instead of, you know, we're using this or the fart fucking jar. Or, or making music, let's just get a jar for one of them. We'll hold it. And then the following week, we get to see if the smell stays in the jar. It's very important. I think it would. I think it would. But it would be less intense. Okay. Yeah, still, it's very important. And I'd like to do that. Why aren't you farting anymore? I've just realized. What the fuck? It's been like ages. Yeah, look. I don't, I you don't even do it during the day anymore. I can't me. explain it to you, man. They just, the fart dry up. You said that beans, Mon made beans yeah, and I that know. fucked you. No, yeah, I need to, did I have beans today? No, I didn't. I got to, I got to try it again. Well, I gotta have can some we, beans. let's get you doing beans. Make, make sure Tuesdays are now bean day. All right. Yeah. Beans are, no, beans on the Monday. Oh, we have to hold it through the whole day. I think if I do beans for lunch on Tuesday, yeah, it'd be okay. good. Well, yeah, I'm so excited, dude, because I miss it. Just I'm sure me. they miss it. Just it's, remind me. It's important to have every week. I feel week. bad. Look, it's not, I'm not doing this on purpose. You know, and it, it was affecting my entire future, but I want to keep doing that for you guys. <laughs> it was, I was, I was getting known as the fart guy. I can't wait to see if a fart smells a week later. Yeah, that is an exciting experiment and one that needs to be tackled head on by the most esteemed scientists <laughs> the world has ever seen. All right, a couple next more questions, questions. left. Um, next one is from Andy Woods. Um, Fucking wanker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm kidding, Andy. Um, <laughs> will we ever get to meet Matt's brother, Queston, on the podcast? He looks like exactly like you, doesn't he, Matt? Didn't you say? He looks like almost identical. Queston. Yeah. yeah. He, isn't he a twin? He's got long blonde hair. Long blonde hair. Yeah, that's right. So, he looks exactly like Matt, except he's just got really long, beautiful blonde hair. Mm. Like, I reckon I'm going to make some texts go around. And he's you, coming on next week. No way. Not next week. Dude, you got to get a past his carer. Yeah. You got to fucking like, there's there's loopholes, man. You can't just go and pick up a crazy guy. Plus, he wants to fuck Matt to death. I don't really want to see that, man. And I don't know if like, I don't know if 
anyone really wants to see him. They need to look, know Matt, a bit well, more look, about him. I would feel comfortable if we had Quest on, on as a guest eventually, as long as you weren't here while he was on. Well, I'll go into the back room where I go during the um, prank. Because I don't want any fucking weird shit starting between you two. Like, honestly, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see him, them two fucking each other. Okay? And that's like, yeah, I don't want that for you either, man. Must, it's not nice that your brother, you know, has that. Uh, Question's You'd- moving in. <laughs> Maybe he can he can sleep down here. I can see you on Question <laughs> fucking hard. Blonde hair entwined. Oh, circle puzzle. You're a circle puzzle together. <laughs> circle puzzle. That's, oh. a, that's a sex. All right, next one is from Stephen uh, Lucia, 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 Lucifer. Um, maybe Marty can answer this because I'd feel like Michael might not tell us. But um, where does Michael take his women on a first date? Oh, shit. I'm sitting in my shit. Yeah. Sorry. Like the towels come off. Oh, oh. What oh a, my God. What a beautiful introduction to the answer to that question. <laughs> What the fuck? Um, I reckon. Well, it depends what the girl what the girl was like. But Michael would just like to um, stay at home with her and um, maybe watch some movies and Netflix and chill. And then he'd want to get his hands all up in her and drag her to his little cell. What would he make for dinner here at home? Spaghetti if he was going to make anything. But he'd get Uber <laughs> Eats for sure. Yeah. And he'd get <laughs> and he'd get high with her and he'd be a bit like intimidating. Be quite intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like a shit date. Being at oh, I reckon what if we're going out out for a date? I guess so. Probably to a restaurant or a bar or something. Yeah. Fuck. No, they go to the, they go to a games place, get a bowl of chips, and then go play games. No, Kangaroo Point Cliffs. Oh yeah, the cafe there. No, you just go on the other edge, looking over the oh, cliff, okay. and you have drinks there. That's cool. The, our girl fell off there recently. <laughs> yep. Remember that. How did yep. she fall off? She's taking a selfie. <laughs> I'd love to see that selfie. <laughs> Whoops, a daisy. <laughs> Is she dead? Yeah, she died. <laughs> <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> That is oh. fucked up. That's fucked. Yeah, you know but yeah. Saying. Condolences if anyone anywhere. Fans yeah. Oh no, yeah. We all feel bad for her, but yeah. It's just it would be a funny picture. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, whoops. If anyone's ever been to Kangaroo, <laughs> <laughs> so for, for anyone who doesn't live in Brisbane, Kangaroo Point Cliffs is a cliff that looks over the city, and then there's like a wall, and then on the other side of the wall is probably like a meter gap where you could actually jump over and stand on the edge, which he's obviously done. But yeah, if over. you come off that, it's like a what? 100 meter fall. no not 100 it's probably it's like, maybe 20 meters it's probably like th- 20 or 30 meters it's, it's quite a big it's fall, quite a big fall. <laughs> yeah, yeah well fuck do that that's the we oh, squeeze this that's the way to go Ooh. don't squeeze it near me yeah it's you want to pop it don't you after touching final it. question of the podcast and it, it comes, comes from, from mitchell, mitchell? Lindors. I don't know if that's the last name. <laughs> it is. It is. Okay. Um, Marty, do you think, in a way, Michael is your soulmate? And Michael, the same thing. You guys just seem to click perfectly. I don't know if there's such things as soulmates, but there's definitely people in the world that you, um, you know, get along really super well with. A very, very small percentage of people, like you know, to the le- at the level. At the level at. you guys are at, where you can be yourselves. Yeah. So Actually, a, we got that with all our, our little group. Yeah. Friends, don't we? Well, I think once you have that, you attract that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The, it sort of becomes like a group mentality. Yeah, it's the same values. So it's easy to find that. But yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's very, very rare. And definitely the sense of humor. That would be even more rare. <laughs> yeah. How do we do that? Yeah. It was very, it's like lucky, but yeah. it's good because it's like having a double version of you. That you can just kiss. <laughs> oh, whoopsie daisies. Oh, silly me. <laughs> that you can hang out with and just fucking laugh at. Imagine yeah. if we made out then for ages. <laughs> I, love that oh, I love that there's no, like, I don't have to worry about bringing anything up. 
Yeah. Like there's no subject. There's no judgment. Taboo. Yeah, well, look at your fucking diary entry, man. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, but... <laughs> you are being 100%. Fucking good times. It's good to have friends, guys. Fucking be good to your friends. <clears throat> yeah. Is that the end of the questions? That's the end of questions. Yeah, questions went for a long time, eh? Nah, sort of. Questions nah. turns into also talking. Yeah, it's questions and talking. It's bunter. The memories. It's fucking bunter, isn't it? It's questions and talking. Maybe that's how we should call it now. It's questions and talking. We'll make it because your, your questions could lead to talking, and that's exciting. And then you can say, "My Michael started talking from my question." <gasps> oh my holy god! Shit. Holy shit! I'm famous. <laughs> I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's um, next one. Let's let's fucking get into the next uh, segment, and it's been renamed. Whoa! Oh, he broke it again. <laughs> That's what it's been he renamed broke it again. to. That's what it's been renamed to. Oh, he broke it oh, again. You freak. Oh. <laughs> now Michael's, I have to come over there. For those who can't see what's just happened, Michael, the fucking clumsy dumb dog fuck. This is the second time. Has just snapped his fucking microphone handle off the table. Too much movement. All right, man, here we go. <laughs> He's got to all try and walk past us. Oh, look, my hands, I got, my hands move involuntarily, brother. I can't be held responsible for my, what my hands might find. Mm. <laughs> come on, come on, come through. No, it's fine. Oh, oh copper feel. Oh, little brown. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Little brown. I'm okay with you, but he just gets you. <laughs> yeah, he's scary. Yeah, the fingers are strong on <laughs> <like> this <laughs> one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Very good. Very good. Bravo. Ha 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 that's you brown standing <laughs> over. That shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is some, that is some. Michael literally just <laughs>, laughs at fucking noises. If you make a good noise, Michael will always laugh. Uh, anyway, um, on with the show. <laughs> um, did, did we get any secrets in? We got one. Did you say, Matt? Oh, um, if it's only one, we don't worry. <laughs> we won't read it out. But if it's only a couple, we want to bring this segment back. We feel like it's been a bit Q&A, German segment, prank callie. Let's fucking throw another quick segment in there next week. Send us some fucking yeah, secrets. I, I did get one and it's not a bad one, but I'll read it next week. Yeah. So send us some fucking, if, it doesn't have to be your own. We won't, we, do, we won't read your name out loud. Everything's anonymous. So don't stress about anything. All right. We got your back. It's Marty and Michael, man. Come on. You can trust us. Uh. You can trust us. Us. Anyway, on to the... Uh, German quiz. The German quiz. Um, and so this segment has been renamed... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and in this segment, I, uh, I um, have a German word that I read and Michael has to guess the meaning. There's three different meanings it could be. Have we done this before? No. If he gets it wrong, I get to pinch him as hard as I can. Oh, new rule. Oh, no, there's a new rule. Question number one. Question number one. Knust. The word is knust. And what's this? What are we doing again? You These me could out. be the three meanings. Okay, okay. It could I mean get you. I get you. The end of a loaf of bread, a bundle of flowers, or art. What does knust mean? Oh, oh. I think I know it. Oh, oh. What are the, the second two? Go again. A bundle of flowers or art. It's the first. Yeah. It, he's correct. It is the end of a loaf of bread. 
Well done, two more. Oh, this is just a fun little thing I've stumbled across on my travels. And let me tell you, what have we have here? <laughs> oh, the lick. The fucking lick. Uh, um. Der Whisky Mixer mixt den Whisky mit dem Whisky Mixer. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? Anyway. <laughs> next That's one. just a freebie. That's a little side quest. Question. <laughs> <laughs> the next word is tutu. Similar to our laugh. Tu tu tu. Which is one of the meanings. Could be one of the meanings. So, tu, 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 that laugh. Till or ballet skirt? Tu, tu. Tu, tu. Ballet, ballet skirt. skirt. Michael is correct again, everyone. This is outstanding. This is outstanding. <clears throat> All right, last word. I'm sorry about that, Matthew Brown. That fell. Oh, my God. I'm filling the semen samples that someone sent in to our podcast. Nikki sent us that. It's for me when I'm in the bar. Uh, disco, huh? Disco, Have a disco, disco in the bar. Uh, disco, disco bath. Okay, the next and final word is noopsie. <laughs> and this could mean oopsie. It could mean a word used when not knowing the actual word mostly used for small things. Or a word used for people that are ignorant and narcissistic. Noopsie. The first one. You are fucking wrong, cunt. You are fucking wrong, cunt. You are fucking wrong, cunt. And now I must pinch you. Oh, fuck. Oh, dude. It never ever gets easy. I got the end of it. I got the end. There was jumper in the way. I had to only get the end. That would have hurt real bad. Pinches are so... Yeah, dude. Uh, the back used to, of the arm. He used to walk around in high school in year fucking 11 and 12 with huge bruises <laughs> all over his triceps. <laughs> everyone at tennis did. Yeah, dude. I would pinch massive. the fuck out of everyone. Oh, I hate all it. The guys. It was so <laughs> painful. <laughs> it was, it suck. Especially like real early in the morning. <laughs> Oh. Never bring that back. I'll be so upset. That oh, friendship yeah. group will be ruined. Yeah, yeah. I can see that cracking people these days. <laughs> yeah. I would never do that. Remember, like, with the slap on the backs? Like, oh, some man. would do. That was oh, fucking you would... shit. Yeah, slap on fun. the backs was so shit. It's... Pinching's like, you can be sneaky about it. Slap on the backs just a bludgeon. Yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> It's time to open packages. It's Christmas time. <laughs> and that's the name of the segment. <laughs> And this is a segment where we just open gifts that you guys have sent to us via our fucking P.O. box. All right? Let's open this one, eh? What do we got here, eh? Fuck, it's nearly... Oh, we got to speed this up. I'm going to be so late. Donut Films has sent us another. Would you like oh, to open that? Oh, fuck. It's going to be something fuck. Oh, yes! What's... He sends a fuck shit like, uh, like foot skins and... Yeah, <laughs> you had his foot skin in your shit. mouth. Oh no! Just, oh, it's gonna be fucked. What Maybe sentence. let's do that one at the end. Yeah. Okay. And he even put his little symbol on it, so we know. Is something moving in there? <laughs> yeah. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh. So, what have we asked for? He's commented something recently. I don't know. He? he said he sent urine once. Yeah. That, well, there you go. It could be piss, or it could be some golly. We'll see. I'm so. Oh, fucking look at this! Him. It's fucking the cow version of Bosley. Someone sent a card. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it's so cute. Hey, ball bag. So I did message asking what you guys wanted sending this time. Last time I sent the candy, underwear, etc. But you said you liked the surprise. So I decided to be nice. My face normally has fuck off written all over it, but I'm not a bad person. Anyway, keep doing what you're doing. And much love from Scotland, from Debbie. And her Instagram is Deb, Debs, D-E-B-Z-S-T-E-W-A-R-T. <clears throat> and... Her business name is D S D Star, so S D S T A R Bookings, D Star Bookings. If you want to fucking message her and say fellow ring, you done good. Or right. if you want a booking, if you want, she she'll book you. What does she do? She books. Oh, huh. she's a booker. All right, what do we got here? Oh, oh, what the fuck, Claire? Wow, look at this. We have some. Some scotch malt whiskey, Bowmore. I don't know anything about whiskey, but it looks like a really good bottle. And then we have a little cow. 
Oh, I can see a glad rap bag. That's never a good sign. Donut Films is a sick, sick person who sends us. Oh, man, don't aim it towards us, man. Yeah, it could be an exploding thing. Oh, I'm nervous. What is it? What is it, Michael? I think it's teeth. Oh, oh it's teeth. he sent his teeth. He sent his teeth. We have oh. teeth. Oh, my God. Someone sent their teeth. Oh, my God. Donut God. Films has sent his teeth. Oh. But wait, there's more. And a pig's ear for Boz. Fuck, I wish she was here tonight. Holy shit. Dude, thank you for the fucking teeth. That's cool, man. We got sent teeth? Yeah. I wish we could put all the shit fucked up things we've been sent together and try and make a person soon. <laughs> so ever since he sent the foot skin, all the kids at school have been begging him to send more. <laughs> <laughs> now he's a foot tooth guy. <laughs> he's decided to send us his teeth. All right, here he is. That's what he looks like. Fucking donut films. I knew you looked like this in my dreams. What's wrong with him? What do you mean? He's just a dude. He's not even 18 yet. He's a child who sends us teeth and skin. <laughs> I thought he was like... <laughs> what a legend. I thought he was like 40. That guy has a fucking big future. Yeah, donut films. The donut films, if you want to do social media, message us. Where do you live? Tell us where you live. Should we do something with the teeth? Yeah, man. We're going to swallow them. <laughs> you should do a trip over on the in the in the oh they're so fucked store. they're so fucked looking dude they're freaking me out no, I want to have a good look at these like who oh and some kids? fucking fingernails yeah fingernails are mixed in with it <laughs> <laughs> oh my god man eat he wants us to eat them oh, oh. who the fuck has still has their teeth they'll be baby yeah. teeth right I don't know oh yeah maybe some oh, yeah yeah years. oh probably this man. one looks pretty big though I can't. I'm not. I'll put your foot skin in my mouth. I'm not <laughs> Imagine chewing teeth. Oh, like maybe if I was drunk, what, I why would. Why don't we grind them up if and I, snort them? I. <laughs> <laughs> There's tooth in my blood. If I was drunk right now, I reckon I would have swallowed one. I reckon for you guys. you'd eat them all there, like little rock candies. Yeah, because you don't really taste it. You What's just swallow. Shit them out, oh, that's another intestines up. Maybe yeah. In the future, we might pull the teeth out. That's another ripper for the fucking table. Thank you very much, Donut Films. Thank you, dude. Good man. All right, let's fucking move straight along because there is no time left. Oh, no, where's it all gone? It's time for the prank call. So fucking here you go, cunt. It is time for the prank call. <sighs> fucking hell, man. This one is going to fuck shit up. What are you doing again? I'm calling a clothes store. Yeah. And I'm being like, oh, I think the chick forgot to take my tags off the clothes. Yeah. If yeah. I come in, can you take them off for me? That's what I'm going to say, implying that I've stolen the Matthew Brown. What are your bets that they'll say something like, did you steal it? Or do you reckon they won't question it? Are you talking to me? I'm not sure. Were you? Are we all like here right now? Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to start the prank call then, yeah, if that's all right. It. Yeah. If that is that okay? It's been a long podcast. <coughs> mm. I'm fucking Darren. Come, I'm fucking Darren. I'm Darren. I'm Darren. Oi, I'm Darren. Oi, see the end, man. I'm Darren. Darren's here. Matt's leaving. Darren's here, man. I'm Darren. I'm Darren. Darren. My name's Darren Thompson. Come. Queen Street. This is Jess speaking. Hey, go on, Jess. Um, I come in um last week and um got like a couple of pair of sunnies and um couple of shirts and that. Um, yeah. and, and the chick I um, got them off, um, she must have forgot to take those, um, you know those little tag things on them? Yeah. Yeah, she must have forgot to take them off because, like, I um, put them out of the um, the bag and um, they still got that on them. So if I come in, um, can you, like, take them off and that? Yeah, of course. As long as you have, like, uh, the receipt. Yeah, shit. I, I don't know what I've done with the receipt, like, I don't usually it hang on. it have been emailed to you? Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, I don't gotten an email on that, so it would have been, like... Um, Otherwise, we can try and find the receipt for you yep. in store, but we have to find the proof of purchase what first. If what if you um? What if you can't find it in that? Can you still like just like if I just come in, someone just just takes them straight off, and I'll just fucking get out of there? Is that is that is that something you do, or should I just call like another no, city it's beach or not something? Unfortunately, um, no city beach will do that for you. We'll have to find the proof of purchase first. Where what are those machines called that like take them tags off? What's that? What's that called? That machine? Do you know? Like tag on or, uh, or something? No, I'm not sure. 
Yeah, right, because, like, um, like, what if I, like, go to another store and that? Because, honestly, like, I don't know if um, you just find a receipt for it and that. Because, like, it was a long time ago, right? And, like, it was so busy that day. Like, there's, like, I reckon, like, 30 people or something in there. Like, That's okay. We would definitely be able to find it because if you've bought numerous items and there's, like, I numerous of them that don't have... Like like, we can find it with those items. Yeah, I think, like, there was something wrong with the machine in that, that day, too, because, like, the girl was saying, like, oh, there's something wrong. Like, I heard her saying something to her, her like, other staff saying, like, oh, there's something wrong with the machine in that. And it wasn't, like, printing um, receipts and that. And, like, other people in front of me even said they're, like, oh, like, like annoyed in that because they don't have receipts if they, like, want to get a refund and that. So, like, I was in on that day um, when the machines were down for a bit. So, like, yeah, I seriously, like, I don't know if he's going to be able to find it. So, like... We definitely would be able to find it. Um, but, again, without that proof of purchase, we can't remove any of the tags from you. Yeah, right. Well, um, look, I'll come in. I'll bring the stuff in. Um, but if we can't find it, like, if we can't find the receipt in that, I'm sweet to just, like, get out of there, right? Um, it would it would really depend. We don't do it without the receipt normally. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, like, if I come in with, like, the sunnies and the shirts and that, um, and you just can't find, like, the receipt... I'm sweet to just get straight out, straight out there and jump back on the bus, go straight home. It's just like, I don't want to go all that way in and like just have the bloody tag still on there. You know, like I want to wear the sunnies, but they got that bloody tag on them and they, and the bloody shirt's got, it's like, it just looks shit, you know? I don't know why he's put them on there. Like it's like so like big and that. And then someone's forgotten to take it off and now it's like my problem, you know? It's like, I shouldn't have to like um, get treated like that and that. Can you send Do you know what I mean? Can you just like, Send send me like a machine like you you surely no, we cannot sorry yeah but like do you know what I'm saying like like it's like it, now it's my problem I right and you guys you guys got program, the bloody I do apologize that we didn't get the tags off originally but without proof of purchase I cannot take any you tags call off. The cops if you find out yeah but like if you just won't do nothing if you just can't find like the receipt in that like you don't yeah. need to like you don't call need to like call like nothing you don't need to call no one, like cops and that. If we can't find proof of receipting that, because the machines were down that day, I do remember someone saying that. I do remember mm -hmm. that. So he's like, that's all sweet. Like, I'll come oh, in right with the tags, way. and if you yeah. can't find the receipt, what, you still leave the tag on then? Yes. Oh, so I've come all the way in the city, all the way from Anala, to catch two buses all the way to the city, and then, like, I can't even, it's not even guaranteed that my tags come off. Do you no. know what I mean? I do understand where you're coming from, but again, we will be able to find your receipt if we have the item. So that's perfectly fine. Um, yeah, but like, like I said, but like, it surely you've like because lost a receipt before. Surely you've um, lost receipts before. It can't. You you must have no, lost. Sir. Oh, I'm, it's happened before. Like I've come in before, and the and the dude there said like, "Oh, sorry, I can't find your receipt." Like he said that to me before. So I was like, well, "I'm, I'm like, completely confident that I would be able to find your receipt." Well, can you try and have a look for it now then? Of course. Do you have the items barcode? Uh, what's where do you find the barcode on them? If you can bring the items in, then I will be able to find the receipt for you. It's just like two buses and that, you know. I'd rather just like, what if it just, what if like, do you have like, can I get like a hammer and something, or just knock them off, or is that like has I'm to be not, the machine? I don't know. Sorry. Um, so I've right. never removed one without the device. Well, this is like this is pretty unfair, you know what I mean? Like, I've got to come all the way in now because you just put them bloody tags on them. It's like, take that shit off, you know what I mean? It just makes everyone t take so much longer, and then one of you's on a busy days forgets to take them off, and now I'm fucking okay, up. Now I'm, fuck, now I'm fuck, now I'm all fucking fucked up, all fucking sitting around home trying trying to go out for bloody dinner with me missa, and then I've got fucking tags all up me gullet running down me back, and put, try to put some sunnies on this fucking tagging me on. I can't even see right now. It's fucking tag in my eye right now. In my left eye, there's a fucking tag dangling down. And, like, I literally can't even fucking open it. Can't even fucking open it right now. You know what I mean? Huh? You know what I mean? saying. So I'll, I'll come in, right? But if you just can't I'm take the tags cuts. off, like, I'm going to I'm gonna like, have to like, bloody blow up and that. You know what I mean? Like, it's bloody unfair. Like, he's treating me like cattle. You're treating me like cows and that, like herding me around and that, mate. I've got fucking, I've got, I've got a life. I've got a life, I've got a family, and I'm, you know what I'm saying? Please yeah, I completely call. understand your frustration. Um, if you come in, we'll be able to find the receipt no for cops, you and we'll be no able to take the tag off. All right, but no cops, right? And if we can't find the receipt, 
I'll, 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 I'll need, I'll, he's, he's got to just fuck, take him off, alright? Like, there, there's nothing else I can fucking do. He's got to take him off. If I'm coming in, I don't want to go home with fucking tags on my shirts again because I've got nothing to wear right now, right? It's fucking laundry day. My fucking mum's been busting her ass, tag fucking washing me, fuck. And there's fuck, tag my eye, and there's a couple hanging off the fucking shirt, and I fucking look like a fucking povo fucking dog like, running around with fucking tags on me, fucking shirts and sunnies and fucking ta- tags all up and fucking shit. shit, 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 shit I can't bloody rip them off. I'll rip the fucking shirt off. You know what I'm saying, bro? I completely understand where you're coming from. We'll be able to take the tags off if you can come in and we can find no cops. No cops. Right, no yeah. cops. No cops. No cops. All right, sweet. So if I come in, there'll be no cops waiting for me in that. This yeah. isn't fucking stitch up. I've got your word. Uh-huh. What's your I've name? Got, what's your name? So, okay, so I'll, I'll go and come in and ask for Alice and no one else, don't tell, say nothing to no one else, right? I'll fucking pull you aside, Alice, and we'll fucking, we'll find that fucking receipt or whatever you fucking need and we'll bloody, we'll take these off, all right? Alice, don't say a word to nothing, all right? They'll, they'll fucking, okay, they'll fucking dob me in. I can't fucking get done. You understand? I can't get I can't done. I can't go back. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right, so we'll just do it on the sly. Don't say nothing to no one, okay? Just pretend you're talking to some oh God, some other customer, all right? My name's Darren. I'm fucking coming in right now, all right? I'm coming in hot. Okay, sir. All right, Alice, I'll see you in about maybe maybe half an hour or something. How's that? Okay. All right, Alice. I love you. I love you Thank to you. pieces. I love you, Alice, and I'll see you soon. You're a bloody good bird. You're a bloody good bird. I love you. I love you, Alice. Thank you, sir. See you later. Nah. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I love you, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> That was very good. That I think was... I hate Darren. <laughs> oh, he is a piece of shit. But He's an like... absolute scumbag, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, that was very good. Very, very good. Uh, it's Ooh. hard to know where to go when they just say, you know, it's like you can't fucking. Oh, you know what I mean? She uh, was she was very professional. Like, how could you not get angry? <laughs> yeah. I would have hung up long before. I I said, Sorry, least, I can't help you. And just hang. at least gotten angry. Like he's making it so obvious that it's he illegal. has he has stolen from Val. Yeah, she wouldn't give a fuck. But I think yeah, some people would. She was very very chilled compared to some. Well but done, Alice. She handled that very professionally. Well done, Alice. All right, guys, that's the end of episode number twenty fucking five. Come two. Holy shit. That means we've done 105 now. 110%. Don't forget to fucking comment a question, drop a like, hit that fucking thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe, brother. Like the golly bottle episode. Yeah, like the golly. I'm, I'm, <laughs> to be honest, I've given up a bit. It's like it's on one point fucking one. Really? We need to get to three. Someone commented saying that she's really concerned if I am to Oh, yeah, I've got that comment. That's like... She's yeah, like, but it's if- fermenting all that bad bacteria. Like, I'm going to get sick. So yeah, exactly. So I don't think been- I'd get it down. i just swirl it in the mouth like mouthwash. Oh, yeah, gargle it. Oh, gargle it a bit. But anyway, yeah, I think maybe too many people think it's too gross and they don't actually want to see it. That could be a bit. Well, how about we fucking do like... Well, comment- makes sense. We gave all the right, option. Comment if, if you're pro golly, comment, comment pro. If you're con, pro, uh, comment con. So pro golly and con golly, we, <laughs> we want to see a fucking and we'll put a fucking poll up. I oh, know we can't yet, can we? On the Instagram, not um, until you get to ten k. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, not till ten k. But that's okay. We can do a poll ourselves off of the comments. Are you fucking sexy cunt. Very Isn't good. He? Very good. All right, that is the end of episode number twenty five. Thank you for watching. We'll see you all next week. We are the best. best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. Oh my god, I nearly passed out, man. That was vicious. That was a vicious shit, man. Holy shit, that was like the closest to actually passing out I've ever come. Yeah, I get disappeared that out of frame. I get frame. that when I try and stand up too quickly. Your head's out of frame. We're the best! <laughs> you're out of you're like way out of frame. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fucking hell. We're the best anyway. So fucking that's that. <laughs>